all together and basically creates, it creates a virtual visual world. There, there, it's an application. It was something that was developed by MIT. I don't remember the actual name of it, but uh, they, what they did was they basically took every major landmark in the world and they've expanded it since then to lots of other things. And utilizing these landmarks, they can, they've been able to take and construct pictures that everybody's taking a picture from a different point of view, okay, at different times of day, different times during the year, and they've taken and compiled all these pictures into one master picture that now, anytime I come anywhere near this particular object, I can automatically identify the object visually without using GPS or without using anything else, which is very much the way our brains actually work. Okay? That's really cool. But if you go to the Grand Canyon and you don't know where you are, you, you can actually <laughs> use the visual guide to figure your way out. Because what's the problem with the GPS in the Grand Canyon? No. It doesn't work. You've got high walls that don't allow the signal to actually get to you. Okay? But now visually I'll be able to just look around and I'll be able to use another input method to be able to determine my location the way birds used to or the way the animals used to a long time ago. Audio guides that are tied to GPS. Imagine walking around a city like London and having an audio guide that tells you what you're looking at. So I don't have to hold my phone up and look at my phone as I'm walking to read information. I want to spend my time using my vision to take in the sights. But I would really like a little bit more information about the things that I'm looking at. It already exists. It's already possible to do today. So this is an example of one of the things that uh, Apple is thinking about towards the future. Okay, This is uh, in conjunction with Corning. Are you guys familiar with Corning, the glass manufacturer? Okay. Yeah. Did you see the commercial? Yes. So the concept here is the fact that the glass, okay, I can actually look through the screen. Okay. It's not that far off for us to be able to actually have windows in our homes or actual walls in our homes like the Corning commercial. Okay. We're that far away from having it. Think about having collapsible screens for your cell phones. That I'll be able to carry my phone in my pocket, but when I want a bigger picture, I'll either pull out a larger screen or I'll have a Pico projector installed within it that will allow me to project the information that I want either on the wall, on my friend, okay, or who knows, perhaps even in the air around me. What about tactile feedback sensors? that allow me to actually feel things. Okay? Today, we've got people that are coming up with lots of great virtual reality things for games. Is it just going to stop with the games? What about taste and smell? Well, I've already showed you the technologies that are available today for these things. And so we come to the science fiction. But it's not science fiction anymore. We actually have sensors that we can put on a person's head and read their thoughts. Now, we don't know how to interpret those thoughts yet, but we can see which act areas of the brain are being activated while a person is undergoing an experience. Perhaps we can have nano neuro implants in our brain soon. Which leads me to this. How much longer is it going to be until all our experiences happen in our heads. And we no longer have to go anywhere. We no longer have to do anything in order to interact with the world around us. Now you kill humanity altogether. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'd like to thank you very much for your time. We hope you enjoyed Thank you very much. תודה רבה